Yes guys, it's your boy Crooksalot and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the aftermarket collection event for Apex Legends Season 6. But before we get into it, if you're not yet subscribed, please make sure you go and do so and ring the bell so you never miss any of my future content. Also, if you're interested in following me on Twitch or Instagram, the link is in the description below. Okay ladies and gents, let's get into it. So, I know I'm slightly late to the party by about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, but I literally just got home from work, saw that this aftermarket collection trailer had just dropped, so I jumped straight on the PlayStation to straight up record this for you guys, so I've only seen it once, it was a very brief watch, and I cannot wait to watch it again with you guys, talk through it. So essentially what I'm going to do is we'll watch it through at normal speed the first time and get my initial reaction and then we'll watch through it a second time in slow motion so that we see anything that we missed before, see like finer details on skins and potential other things in the trailer and then we'll just have it on repeat whilst I just talk over it and give you my overall impressions of the trailer and what I think this is going to mean for the rest of season 6. Okay guys, so... I am super psyched for this, I've been waiting for this trailer for a long time, not necessarily this trailer but for the next collection event, so I'm super stoked, let's get into it guys. So we start off, blood and violence, this is the Rampart Shopping Network, Rampart shopping shop network. <laughs> that's awesome, Oi, thanks for tuning in, mates. Oh yeah, boy, crossplay beta. Guys, I've been waiting for this for so long. Whew, look at that Octane skin, man. Ah, dude, that is sweet. <laughs> oh, no, look at that, man. Oh, that is so sick. Killing Joke skin. Bro, that is the most sick Joke Caustic skin. Oof, that's naughty. Mate, these skins are absolutely fire so far. All three of these have been wicked. Look at those, man. <laughs> underpaid editor. Come on, then, what have we got? Whoa, a cool ass shield. Flashpoint limited time mode. Regenerate health and shields. Healing and shield loot has been removed. Nice. Limited time cosmetics. Don't lie, is that caustic? Oh, that is a sick heirloom, guys. Look at that. Crossplay, man. Yes. I can't wait for that. I can finally play with some bros on other platforms. <laughs> Look at that rip skin, man. October 6th. Next Tuesday, guys. Oh my god, that is insane. Let's run that again in slow mo. And just see what we missed, because that was action packed, boys and girls. So, what have we got? We haven't actually got a Rampart skin, like, I like a new one for this event. I'm kind of surprised, unless that's one of them. But, I mean, nothing sticking out so far that I've noticed. The crossplay is going to be sweet, guys. I'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. But, I have got some guys who wanted to play with me since, like, season two. And I can't wait to finally squad up with them. Now, the Sonic Boom skin for Octane. Guys, that's freaking awesome. Half man, half car. Souped up selfies. Infinite talk. That's awesome. Kind of looks like a fighter pilot. Like, that is cool, man. I like that. I like how they're going with, like, these cool-ass futuristic -y skins for characters. That, that is awesome. Legendary Killing Joke skin. That is a bad boy skin, ladies and gents. He literally looks like Heath Ledger. <laughs> kind of. The hair, man. It's the hair all slick back. That is awesome. Definitely going to be copying that as soon as that comes out. That's freaking sweet. Now, this skin for Wraith kind of looks like a Fortnite skin. Don't get it twisted. It's not bad. It's, it's freaking awesome. But it kind of looks like a Fortnite skin. But it's, it's still really cool. I like it. I can dig that. I like the diamond eyes. Freaking awesome. Special price, £10 a catnip. That's funny. But yeah, man, like you see what I mean by the futuristic skins? Not so necessarily the caustic skin, but the other two. Looking wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Awesome skins. <laughs> Rampart is so jerk, man. Aftermarket collection event. 
Guys, I'm so, so psyched for this. Like, look at that. A big, huge shield pulse thing around the map. Never seen that before. Flashpoint. I've played... I'm not sure if I've played a Flashpoint before, you know, but... It looks freaking sweet, guys. Like, it's going to be interesting. It's going to mix it up. Um, looking forward to this potential new... Well, it is definitely a new limited time game mode. We've got some skins. We've got a cool ass Loba skin. Is that a Gibby on fire kind of skin? That's cool. That Lifeline skin is sick all black. I like that. But the heirloom, ladies and gents, look at that. That is absolutely insane, man. I'm getting that straight away. That is freaking bad boy. Crossplay beta. PS4, Origin, and Xbox One. We can all finally play together. I'm super stoked for this. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So as I was saying, oh wait, actually we've got a rev skin coming up. Now this rev skin is awesome. Like this is some cool ass futuristic rev skin, man. Like look at that. That is bad boy. That is sick. I can't wait to play with these skins. It's like finally, like just as Apex Season 6 was losing a bit of pace, they dropped something like this. And I think that's why Apex is doing so successful because... Like, for example, I'm playing Gears 5 right now, and, like, the operation, I hope you saw, m you felt my air quotation marks just then, um, like, the, the four-month seasons, essentially, so the battle pass will last four months, and, like, when you get, like, halfway through, it just, there's nothing to do, like, they're not innovative with the new game modes, and I know Apex use some limited time modes over again, couple of times but like they're not afraid to just bash a few new ones out like there's still new game modes coming out there's new skins and i know it's like oh you've got to pay for the skins but dude i got the game for free you don't understand how many hours i've put into epic legends like that saved me what by paying 60 pound for a game that i play for 10 to 20 hours and then never going it again i've played apex legends for like i don't even want to know how many hours a crazy amount of hours a really crazy amount of hours. So for me, I'll happily support the game because it's given me my value already by just playing it and the fact that it was free is awesome. Um, and like, some of the skins like they're really awesome. Like, look at that. That caustic skin is going to be used all the time. I mean, to be fair, from the last Lost Treasures event, that caustic skin was freaking insane. I actually probably prefer that more. Like, just a little bit, but... That clown skin is still awesome. And, like, you look at that rev skin, again, bad boy looking like some Decepticon. Phew, I just can't wait, guys, can't wait. But, yeah, as I was saying about Apex, um, it's, like, longevity. It's just got so much content coming to it over again and over again. And, and I'm really glad, to be honest, because in Season 1, it didn't necessarily have all that, but... They've learned from the mistakes. They're bringing out. I know. I don't know. It's just skins and stuff, but and, and like game modes that are only on for like a week or so. But it just mixes it up. It keeps it interesting. It keeps you getting stuff to play for, giving you a reason to jump on and try it out. Like it's awesome, and that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I'm still playing Apex today because it's just constantly bringing out new stuff. Uh, it gives you reasons to jump on the. They make awesome skins. It's not just like that exact Wraith skin, but with no ears. Buy it now for the same price. You know what I mean? They don't do that. They don't mess about. They just bring out the good stuff, man. It's going to be freaking awesome. And like this Flashpoint mode looks really interesting. Oh, I think actually the dome may be a place where you can heal. Because did you notice there was like a, a healing revive station kind of thing there so potentially in this i mean i've never played a flashpoint before but in the big electric shield thing it's like a healing zone that'd be cool but like i'm really looking forward to what it's saying it looks freaking sweet october 6th mark it on your calendar next tuesday it's gonna be lit up in here Anyways guys, I really appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and drop a comment below and let me know what you guys thought about the Aftermarket Collection event. Um, and obviously don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss any of my future content. That's about it for this one guys. It's been your boy Crookslot and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.